my God, I can't do it. Don't be a weenie. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count to three. No, no, 10. I'm gonna count to 10 and then I'm gonna... <laughs> I don't talk like that! Well, do you want to be our chaperone? To what? Our trip to Yerba. Yerba? I spent two weeks there when I was 23. Will you just be our chaperone? Of course! Yay! So, who all's coming? Okay, uh, it's gonna be me, Andre, Kat. Come on! No, I don't want to ask her! No! Come on! Fine. Yeah. We'll both ask her. What's going on? My aunt says we can't go to Cancun. Oh, how come? She found out I was bringing Jade. <laughs> so we hear some of you guys are going to Yerba. Yes. Yes, we are. Would you like to come to Yerba with us, Beck? Oh, that'd be great, thanks. Hmm. Jade, do you have a question for me? Can I come to your butt? Hmm. Maybe. But first, you gotta give me a hug. Come on, no, just do it. Oh, see? Give Tori a big old hug isn't such a bad thing. Okay, that's really tight. Oh, God, help me! Psychowitz is 10 minutes late. Where is he? Maybe he locked himself in a dark closet because you forced him to go see a play that made his whole life seem like a big fat pile of garbage. I'm gonna have a banana. You know, why don't I just lie on the floor so you can start kicking me? You have that dream too? You know, uh, monkeys peel their bananas from the bottom. Man, you just sit there and think to yourself, hey, what would an idiot say right now? And then that's what you say? Oh, Mandy, wait! What is. What is oh, 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 oh. I can hear your thoughts. Tori. What do you mean you're not the yeah. same as me? You wrote this play? Yeah. You like it? You're not of this earth. What does that mean? You. You're from another planet! Hey! Ooh, someone's all happy about something. Ugh, yeah, it's making me sick. Hey, um, is there a reason why girls don't want to go out with me? You mean, like, one reason that stands out over all the other reasons? <laughs> so why are you happy? Because Ryder Daniels asked me out. Ooh, he's hot. Stare all you want. I'm secure. I don't trust that rider guy. Oh, you just hate the idea of anything good happening for me. That could not be more true. I'm just saying, any dude that hot and that perfect has to be hiding something. So I guess you think Beck's hiding something. Oh, he was. Until I found out. What, what was I hiding? That you were born in Canada. It wasn't a secret. What's up, Rob? What's up? Oh, hey. Oh. What's wrong with Rex? Oh, uh, we went to the Northridge prom this weekend. Oh, those Northridge girls. I feel like a prom bomb went off in my head. Oh. Oh. And I have a stomach virus. Ah! No, 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 no. Hey, when is our prom? We don't have a prom. What? Proms are stupid. I love proms. Proms. Well, which makes sense, because you're you, and proms are stupid. Hey, guys, um, can I ask you a Shut up! I'm opening a Christmas present! Brunch. Oh my god, Kat, you did not. <laughs> scissors. They're special scissors! Okay. They're from a real movie! I cannot believe you got me these. What movie were they used in? The scissoring. 
Wait, that, that one about the girl who comes back from the dead and uses a pair of scissors on her two best friends? Yep. Starting with the pretty girl. <laughs> oh. Um, anyway, you guys, I'm Andre Secret Santa, and I have, like, no clue what to give him. Just get him a present. My God. Okay, help me, please. I don't want to give him the worst present and then have to go Christmas yodeling with Psychowitz. <laughs> Two words. I bet they won't be helpful. Your problem. I was right. Would anyone be interested in seeing the cast list for a little play called Steamboat Susie? Yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah. Ooh. No. I got the lead, right? Pardon? I'm playing Susie, right? Did you get the lead? Yeah. I don't think she got it. So, who's playing Susie? Me. Yeah. Her. That. She got the lead. What part did you get? I got cheated and humiliated. You get used to it. All right, now, chill down. Let's see. Says right here, Jade West, understudy for the role of Susie. Oh, ye who. Like, it's my dream to be Tori's understudy. What's an understudy? Oh, man. Um, an understudy is like a backup actor. So if you get sick or something, your understudy takes over for your part in the play. Yeah. Yeah, if you get sick. Or go missing. Or get hit by a bus! Uh, she can't drive a bus, right? Oh, come on. Nobody here would do that to Trina. Except you. What, me? Oh, me? Well, I would never hurt my dear sister Trina. Not me, sweet Sally Peaches. I don't talk like that. Whatever. I saw what happened. When? Before the play, she and Trina were fighting. We were arguing. Yeah. And do all your arguments end and I'm gonna kill you? <gasps> oh, don't gasp. I didn't really threaten her. Sounded like it to me. Okay, why don't you tell us exactly what you saw and heard? Sure. Uh, let's see. It was about 20 minutes before the play started. And I walked into the black box because Robbie owed me 10 bucks and I wanted it back. Robbie! And I saw Tori and Trina fighting. Trina! Trina! What? I gave you the lead in my play. Now give me my stinking cuddle me Kathy doll back! Okay, okay. Just a sec, relax. Here. Where is her bonnet? <laughs> this thing? What'd you do to it? Ah, uh, I might have blown my nose into it. Oh, you filthy skunk bag! I am gonna kill you so hard! Hey, Tori, I brought you some pansies. Why can't I be pretty like you? That's not even close to how it happened. It's how I remember it. Yeah, because you're demented. Oh, so you think I'm pretty and demented? I never said you were pretty, and I never punched Sinjin. But you admit you threatened Trina. No! Wait, I did kind of hear you tell Trina you were going to kill her. So did I. But if you're going to try to kill me too, then all I heard was pretty music. Two witnesses. Oh, come on. I know Tori, and there's no way she'd ever. Oh, it's Kiko. Tori's guilty. I gotta go. <laughs> All right, I might have said something that kind of sounded threatening, but I didn't really so mean. You threatened her, and then somebody just happened to cut the gimbal on her harness. <sighs> I didn't punch Sinjin, and I never sabotaged Trina's gimbal. Yes, you did. Come no, on, why does that make any sense? Come on. Come in. Really? 
I had no idea you did stunt work. I don't! I'm not a stunt double! Then why'd you accept the job? I don't know, because I'm stupid. <laughs> I've been telling you people she's stupid, but did anyone believe me? All right, wait, why'd they even offer you a job as a stunt double? Because of my resume. Under special skills, I put gymnastics and karate, and that made them think that I could do stunts. See, you should never lie on your resume. <laughs> well, that's not a pretty face. <sighs> Will you please just call your casting director friend and get me out of this? Mm, you might not want to do that. Why not? You want to get blackballed in Hollywood? What do you mean, blackballed? In this town, everybody knows everybody. You make people mad? Word gets around. <laughs> and then no one will hire you. Great, so what do I do? Get blackballed or do a stunt and get my face smashed? I think you should do both. <laughs> you know... Stunt doubles rarely get injured. Yeah, but... And you told them you do it. Which is a commitment. And making a commitment is like... Well, take this coconut, for example. Brown, <laughs> spherical, covered with short, fibrous hairs that... What were we talking about? So, what's the stunt you're supposed to do anyway? Fall off a chair. Fall off a chair? That's the big stunt you're bugging about? Ha! <laughs> yeah, big baby. Well, it could be dangerous. I'm not a professional stunt girl. I don't know how to fall off a chair and make it look real. And what if the... Ah! <laughs> Looked good to me. Uh, guys, it's okay. Uh, it looks like the electricity went out, so just relax until I... <laughs> what? What? Oh, 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 hey, hey, what is that? It's freaking everybody out. Hey, Tori. How's your prom going? Turn on the power, turn off that freakish video, and then go home. And miss the rest of this prom? No. I think the fun's just begun. Yeah, well, think again, because there's not going to be any more of your stupid little pranks. Oh, Kay. Kay. A. Kay. A. Okay, we're never gonna spell Kesha. Why are there so many K's and A's? I don't know, but we'd be doing great if we were trying to win a private concert from Aka 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 Ak. I guess they gotta make some letters hard to find or everyone can win. I'm sick of this. Ice cream reminds me of my childhood. You didn't have a happy childhood? My favorite toy was a hammer. You finished the puzzle. You know, you don't have to help. Don't push. What? But if we win and Kesha does do a private concert here, only the people who helped find the letters get to come. Only the people who helped find the letters get to come! I don't talk like that! We're not any closer to figuring out who in this room sabotaged Trina. This is getting Listen, all right? <laughs> Lane, you know I think you're awesome, but this whole thing is insane. I mean, okay, we all know that Trina can be really annoying. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But honestly, come on, do you think any person in this room would seriously try to hurt her? I know I wouldn't. And I don't think any of you guys would either. Not even Jade. I might. But I didn't. Did you know, some of the rigging equipment we use is kind of old. Yeah. Right. I think it was just an accident. A terrible, hilarious accident. <laughs> that now has 26,000 views. Hey, boys and squirrels. <laughs> squirrels does sound like girls. <laughs> hey, after school, you guys want to go get some sushi at Nozu? Sure. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, with you. You know, actually, my tummy's been feeling kind of weird these past couple of days. That's uh, always something. <laughs> Who's this? Hello? Yeah, this is Tori. You... Wait, how did you get my number? Who is it? 
Some guy who works for Lady Gaga. <gasps> Hi. Sorry. She is, really? What's he saying? They're doing a new music video next Friday and they're looking for dancers and backup singers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but aren't you doing Steamboat Susie next Friday? Yeah. Look, I'm starring in a play that night, oh so I... Oh my God. I... You're gonna turn down a job in a real music video just to be in some little play here at school? Well, I guess I could blow off the play. Oh yeah, and then Jade will get to play your part. Yeah, I... Yeah, she would, wouldn't she? Hello? Sir? Yeah, um, I was wondering... Ah! <laughs> Same Jane. Jade made me do it. She promised me $30 and a complete makeover. Well, you failed. So now you don't get $30 and you get to keep looking like that. <laughs> You made Sinjin try to trick me into missing the place so you could steal my part? Okay. I'm not just gonna stand here and listen to you accuse me of things I clearly did. Uh, you gotta add more things on the special skills. Yeah, you put bike riding as a special skill. Who can't ride a bike? Take a guess. Can you keep any secret? <laughs> so what special skills should I add? Gymnastics. Martial arts, skydiving. Flirtatious hair flipping. Okay, I do not flip my hair flirtatiously. Oh, really? This doesn't look familiar? Well, hello, boys. My name is Tora Vega. Buy me some licorice and I'll give you a kiss. <laughs> I talk nothing like that. Seriously, do I talk anything like that? Well, no. Oh, my goodness, Robbie. I didn't realize you were so popular. Are you his girlfriend? No, are you? <laughs> okay, why don't you go down to the nursery and scare the newborn babies? <gasps> Where are the babies? Uh, so, Doc, what's the situation with Robbie? Well, you see this uh, tear in his small intestine? Yeah. Okay. Well, if that Pontiac moves, it could rip that kid's guts apart. So slice him open and yank it out. Well, we would, but Robbie has a rare blood type. O negative. Oh. Negative. <laughs> and we don't have enough here for the surgery. So how do you plan to... Whoa, whoa. I know where you could get some O negative blood. Where? Right here. <laughs> I'm O negative? You did go through my medical records. Told you I'd do my research. <laughs> Would you be willing to donate blood for Robbie's operation? Uh, sure, totally. But the play starts in three hours. Oh, you're in a play? Uh, yeah, at school. I'm the lead. Well, don't you have an understudy? Someone that could take your place? <laughs> yeah, she does. Next, we should probably talk about... Oh, hey, Jade. Uh, did you want to join our... You just had to have your stupid prom this Saturday night? We're calling it a prom? I was supposed to do my performance this Saturday night. Now, Psycho, it says I can't, because you booked the Asphalt Cafe for your stupid prom. Prom. <laughs> Cancel it! No! N no? No. No? No. OK. All right. Have your prom. But know this. You're going to wish you didn't. I had dreams of doing something special with my life. But now I'm just a high school teacher. Worthless loser. <laughs> Frittering my days away in a stupid classroom with a bunch of snot-nosed teenagers? That's no life for a man! Okay, so look at teaching as a, a temporary thing. It's been 10 years, Randy. 10 years! Watching my friends have rewarding lives while I'm nothing but a stinking high school teacher. Great play, Tori. Good call. I didn't know. Now, your dialogue should all be friendly and happy, but your subtext is anger. So you must say your happy lines angrily. Action! <laughs> 
I am so honking happy that we got married and then had this cute little baby. <laughs> Ditto to that. <laughs> I tell you, there's nothing on this planet warms my cockles more than looking at this magical pile of baby right there. Goo! No! Oh, did you hear that go? Excuse me, I hate to interrupt, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Your sister just elbowed me in my lung. I'll get you some ice. Sit down. I'm sorry, did someone invite you here? Beck told me you guys were performing on national TV. So? And you think you're doing that without me? You stormed out of Psychowitz's class? I feel that Jade should be included. <laughs> okay, fine. Whatever. So what's our float gonna be? Hey, you know what? Urbanian gravy? Not so bad. <laughs> Let's watch the sun come up. <laughs> You're really gonna let your screech box of a sister sing with us? The guys are gonna keep her mic turned off. Oh, that's swell news. I don't talk like that. Whatever. Hey, uh, who's your date? Uh, oh, I knew I forgot something. Uh, well, maybe I can just dance with you and yep. Bobby and... Well, uh... hey there, Fromers. Uh, what are you doing here? Mm, well, I didn't have anything else to do. Bex in Canada and you got my performance canceled, so here I am at your prom. Uh, large, scary lady coming, large, scary lady coming. Great. It's the one you called big and stupid the other day. Whatever, I'm not scared of this chick. So, do I still look big and stupid? All right, listen, hot stuff. You better just turn yourself around and walk away from me, because I'm going I like it on the ground. Uh, Tori, Tori. Hi, 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 hi. Talk my dog. She's my friend. Yeah, we're we're super close. <laughs> you are lucky. I made a can. Come on. Ugh. I didn't need your help. She would have eaten you. She wouldn't have liked it. So we checked it out with some of the other girls Ryder's gone out with. And it's true. So... So he's just using me to get a good grade? Sorry, Tori. You must feel pretty stupid right now. <laughs> okay, that's a timeout. No, I was just trying Goes to... Go sit on the steps. What's for lunch? Oh, he's got the spaghetti, the ravioli. <gasps> ravioli? You let her finish! <laughs> oh, hey! I just wanted to remind you guys that I'm going away to Cancun with Beck's family for semester break, and you guys have nothing fun to do. Tell your story, Tori. <laughs> Tori's story. <laughs> That's so rhymey. <laughs> okay. So it was uh, 20 minutes before the play. I heard Jade come in, yelling for Robbie. <laughs> Robbie! Do you want Robbie? Oh, so I'm a monster now. Let her tell it how she remembers it. Thank you. So yes, I was arguing with Trina because she wouldn't give me back my Cuddle Me Kathy doll. Trina, come on, please. What? I gave you the lead role in my play, so could I please have my doll back, please? <sighs> All right, just a sec. Here. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm pretty sure she had a bonnet. <sighs> <sighs> Whatever. Take it. Thank you. Do you know what happened to it? 
Yeah, I blew some snot into it. <laughs> Thanks for giving me my cuddly Kathy back. I am so happy. Ah. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna go put my alien makeup on. Milf! <laughs> it's not my fault you spilled your coffee, klutz. Okay, that's like the opposite of what really happened. That's exactly what happened. Jade. Correct. What are you here for? You. Wait! Do you have your new scissors with you? No. <sighs> Don't be shy. Those are my old scissors. Okay, so what do you want? Merry Christmas. You're my secret Santa? Ho, ho. Ho. Oh. So, what's my gift? An idea for a present to give to Andre. You have an idea? A perfect one. Awesome. Tell me. Beg me. <laughs> Come on, if you have an idea. Okay. Tori! Tori! Oh my god. You guys. Oh. Oh. Hey, Tori. Oh. You've looked better. <laughs> We're psychoids. He's with Beck and Robbie. They're on the phone calling mom and dad, our American ambassador, some lawyers. Well, why wouldn't they call? Mm. Andre, what are you eating? Salt. <laughs> Why would you? One of the signs of getting over the moth poison is an extreme craving for salt. I hate the taste, but I can't stop. <laughs> mm. So, has anyone tried to beat you up? No. I've got some street cred in here. Because mm. I think I'm the psycho girl who stabbed the chancellor in his eye. You are. <laughs> Wait, are those dudes over there? Uh huh. Oh my god, this prison is for women and men? Yeah, but there's a big fence separating the guys from the girls. Wait, so you're telling me that Freak Show is a girl? What are you looking at? Uh, I'm looking at a big stupid lady in prison. What are you looking at? Ah! Oh, me make big man lady mad. Ah! Oh, good one. Hey, call me, we'll go skirt shopping. <laughs> Must you aggravate my fellow prisoners? Yes, I must. Ooh, you don't look happy. I'm not. Yay. <laughs> Trina giving you a rough time? Yes. Do you know she sleep sweats? <laughs> sleep sweats? Yeah, she made me go into a room last night every two hours with a sponge, lift her arms, and then Tori! I had to take. Hey, answer my phone. I don't wanna. You're her assistant, so do what she says. Thank you, Jane. Never touch me. You've been hit by lightning. I, I can't get up. You better dock the boat. We're not docking. I'll captain this boat. You? Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> that little girl is sick. Help me. Please, help. We've got to get her to New Orleans by daybreak. You can't captain a boat. You're just a woman. I may be a woman, but that doesn't mean I'm not the best dang steamboat captain this here river's ever seen. Now men will always tell you how they do it all, while women do the work you never see. But so is it what happened. You're in great need of a captain. Oh, a captain, and that captain is me. And so is it what happened. Can I help you? Yeah, I got flowers for uh, uh, Tori Vega. 
Me? Huh. I wonder who would have sent me flowers. I'm sorry, those are bush daisies! Oh, what's up? I am way allergic to bush daisies. Like, if I get anywhere near them, my whole face starts swelling up and I start sweating and shaking. Well, who would have sent you bush daisies? I don't know. Or maybe I do. How did you know I was allergic to bush daisies? I do my research. You looked up my medical records? I'll answer that right after you stick your face in those bush daisies. Listen to me. I'm doing this play. I auditioned, I got the lead, and I'm doing it. I don't care what you do. All right. Pick it back up where we left off. Trina. Yep. I wasn't believing your cough. You need to really sell the tuberculosis. Uh, like this? <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Hey, hey, Robbie's in the hospital. What? Oh. Robbie? What's wrong with him? I don't know. His stomach was hurting really bad, so an ambulance took him to the emergency room and they x-rayed him. And what'd they find? Well, according to this text message from Rex, it says there's a car parked in Robbie's butt. Oh, my God! I don't know what that means. Well, who would? Is Robbie gonna be okay? I don't know. His parents are in Boca, so I'm gonna head over to the hospital. Well, can we come? We want to see Robbie. Psychowitz? Yes, of course. But the play starts at 7.30. We'll be back way before then. Come on. Okay. Bye. Whoa, wait, Jade. What? Is this just another trick to get me out of the place so you can steal my part? No. And what if you're lying? <sighs> Fine. I'll go to the hospital. You stay here. OK. Wait! What? <laughs> How do I know that you're not tricking me by having me stay here while you go to the hospital? Both of you go to the hospital! All right. We'll both go. <laughs> What's so funny? Are you laughing at that video of Trina getting hurt? No. I'm laughing at the comments. You posted it online? A little bit. OK, well, I'm going home now. Forever. No. You're not leaving this school. Well, she has to. <laughs> I mean, I feel really bad about it, seriously, but you know. Bye. I think I'll miss you least of all. Wait, what do you mean she's not leaving? I mean, we're all going to talk to Helen about this right now. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's do that. What are you guys going to say? That if you have to leave Hollywood Arts, I'm leaving too. You would do that for me? No, I really love this school. <laughs> well, I'm going to go get some gum. <laughs>